So in a case of really impeccable timing, the world's first high sensitivity cancer screening test kits have arrived in South Africa right on time for World Cancer Day today. This day is used to encourage cancer prevention, detection and treatment. Now developed by India-based genetic laboratory, the test is accurate, cheap and is now accessible to South Africans. To tell us more, we're joined in studio by Unique Diagnostics co-director Amit Navon. Also with us this morning via our Zoom line uh, from Mumbai, India, is the Director of Patient Care Services at Data Cancer Genetics. That's uh, Dr. Chirantan Bose. To both of our guests, thanks very much uh, for your time. I'll start the discussion with you uh, in studio, uh, Amit. Incredible development, given that you'll tell us more about the test kits in just a moment, but given that with cancer, timing really is everything. Exactly. Timing is everything and our test is uh, identifying, able to identify cancer at a very, very uh, early stage, mm -hmm. as early as stage zero. Wow. Okay. We are working with the TAR Cancer Genetics. Okay. We represent the TAR Cancer Genetics here in South Africa. Um, and yeah, we're very, very excited about this development. I mean, it, sound, it sounds incredible. What, what kind of time frame are we talking about in terms of the development of this, uh, of, of this test kit? The development itself, Dr. Bose would be able to give us right. more information regarding the time that took them at the TAR uh, to develop the kit. Okay, it's not a kit uh, that you can do the test at home. Okay, it's a simple blood test that we basically uh, collect from the patient, mm -hmm. okay, through the various labs here in South Africa, okay, and we ship it out to the TAR Cancer Genetics labs uh, worldwide. Right. So, actually, let's bring in Dr. Bose, uh, who joins us live from Mumbai this morning. Dr. Bose, a test kit that is able to detect cancer from stage zero. Tell us about what went to, into the, the, the research and development. Well, thank you, first of all, and a very good morning to everyone in South Africa. We are simply delighted on the occasion of a World Cancer Day to reach out to the clinicians, to the people of South Africa with this revolutionary new test, which has changed the arena of cancer screening, um, and, and it's a technology like never before. Uh, this test, uh, I'm happy to share, is now available for anybody in South Africa who wants to avail this and get screened for 70 different types of cancers with a simple blood sample drawn uh, from the comfort of their homes. Uh, this test, which is called TrueCheck, is based on a very high sensitivity detection of uh, circulating tumor cells from a person's blood. And what we've uh, discovered is these circulating tumor cells come into the blood circulation, they break away from uh, very initial cancer um, tumor, tumor regions and come into the blood circulation and can be picked up with this test at a very high degree of accuracy. Uh, the accuracy, the sensitivity and specificity of this test much higher than uh, the conventional cancer screening tests like a mammogram or a colonoscopy for colon cancers. So, yeah, it's, it's really revolutionary. And the technology behind, as you asked, is uh, detection of circulating tumor cells and tumor cell clusters, which we can now identify from a simple blood sample. So, Dr. Bose, uh, I mean, ordinarily how cancer testing works, and, and you mentioned the mammogram as one example, it's in response to perhaps detecting a lump in your breast, for example. It's in response to some kind of illness. Are you saying that the true, the true check test could, if I have, for example, cancer in my family and I'd like to do a test as a precautionary measure, is that something that would qualify for the true check test? Yeah, absolutely. You're, you're very correct. Uh, true check is a test which should be used as an annual health check screening by every individual above 40 years of age. Wow. Uh, as we all know, we are living in a world which is full of carcinogens. There can be genetic predisposition, family history of strong, uh, you know, positive of cancers, and uh, fertilizers, p pesticides, uh, chemicals in our food, uh, pollution, everything contributes to uh, cancer. And this is a test that can be used as a completely preventive uh, early screening diagnostic oh. test. 
Uh, and the advantage I would like to stress is early detection of cancers uh, almost guarantees a low cost, better cure and outcome for patients of very many cancers. For example, breast cancer at an early stage can be almost cured. Um, so is colon cancers. So the outcome and the survival enhances significantly with an early detection. I mean, uh, Amit, let's uh, bring the discussion back to studio. Uh, we all know at least someone, if not in our close circle, but perhaps in our extended circle, who had their cancer detected a little too late and lost their lives as a result. I, I mean, you, you can't overstate how revolutionary this test is. It is. It is. No, you can't understate it. It's definitely revolutionary. And we are looking forward to see the response from the South African population taking it and making use of it and saving lives. Yeah. So, so um, Dr. Bose telling us that actually it shouldn't be in response to perhaps detecting a lump in your breast or a or, or response to something that your doctor tells you. It should be used as an annual health check. What are the cost implications of that? Okay. So the cost implication uh, for the true check in Tilly is just over 21,000 rand, mm -hmm. okay? If you do it once every two years for 40 years of age, and then you do it after 40, uh, let's say after 50 years of age, you do it every year, mm -hmm. you know, you, you are able to, to make a difference in your life. At this stage, is it a cost that would be, and I don't know if you can answer this question, but is it a cost that would be covered by medical aid? Not at the moment. We are working on getting it into the medical aids. It will take time. I mean, it's, when we think about the kinds of length of treatment for cancer patients and, and the cost implication, Surely it's in the interest of medical aids to, to foot the bill for this. We would like to think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Bose, I want to just end off our discussion with you. I, I mean, uh, we're astounded here in studio to think that this, how this could revol not only revolutionize cancer treatment, but of course, in the end, save lives. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, couldn't agree with you more. We are seeing... Uh, people who are incidentally being detected with very early stage breast cancers, lung cancers, colon cancers with this test, which obviously can screen a very wide range, almost all the solid organ cancers. Uh, so first of all, it reduces the cost of uh, screening. Yeah, one cannot uh, uh, you know, possibly take all these radiological and invasive procedures to screen for cancers mm. every now and then. Uh, so a simple blood test, first of all, reduces the, the anxiety and the uh, costs involved in that screening process. Now, I would also like to mention here that the sensitivity of this test is way above 93 percent, and the specificity is 100 percent. So there is no false positivity. You are not likely to get a report which says, oh, yes, you, there are cancer cells, and, uh, and then there is that entire chain of anxiety. But it's, it's a completely specific test. So if wow. it comes positive, one has to go in for further detailed investigations and start treating. Now, early stage detection reduces the cost of treatment by about, uh, to about one-fourth and definitely prolongs longevity uh, significantly in, in various difficult-to-treat cancers as well. So advantages from all angles. Yeah, yeah. No, incredible. And I, I'm, we haven't heard the last from this I incredible development. To both of our guests, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Dr. Chirantan Bose joins us from Mumbai, India this morning. He's the Director of Patient Care Services at Data Cancer Genetics here in studio. Amit Navon, Unique Diagnostics Co-Director. Thanks so much for coming thank into studio. Thank you. I'm sure you. we'll speak to you again very, very we, yeah. soon.